Taurus. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. These are general readings only so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome too. So let us begin. Taurus. Too many. One card, please. There you go. Oh, no. Too many. Take two. Take three. <laughs> Take 25. <laughs> that one. Right. Taurus, you get. Oh, I just did Virgo, and they got exactly the same card. And if I remember rightly, um, I'm uploading all the monthly videos at the moment and they'll be uploaded tomorrow, bearing in mind I'm in Australia, um, but they'll be uploaded tomorrow afternoon, what time you're watching this, and I'm pretty sure that Virgo and Taurus got exactly the same spirit animal card for the monthly reading as well. Not 100% sure, but it was definitely Virgo and either Taurus or Capricorn, the Earth signs. But anyway, you get number 11, Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful. Loving that, beautiful. Okay, so Taurus, Moontology. I wonder if you'll get the same. Oh, the picture looked very similar. They had blue moon, you've got fixed moon, hold your vision. That transformation is beautiful. Hold that vision and allow that transformation to come on down, come on through. Love that. Okay, loving that. Overall, you've got the Magus. Okay, manifestation. Manifesting correctly in order to make things happen the way you're wanting things to happen. Creating a way to make these dreams and real um, these dreams and wishes a reality here. Beautiful. Love that. Okay, so past energies. Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Love the two sevens are balancing. Either side of success, that is right there for the taking. Looking at the options, okay. Persisting, not giving up. That brought some sort of success towards you. Love it. Present energies, you've got the Three of Cups, the Star, and the Six of Cups love around you it's what you're hoping for it's what you're wishing okay so it could be dealing with an aquarius that's um the star card there but again your wishes your hopes focusing on them um it may be an ex that you're wanting back with this reconciliation card it may be happy memories fond memories playful energy butterflies in your tummy feeling butterfly spirits transformation is beautiful but you have something to celebrate here whether it's virtually online or whether you're able to get together with friends and family and celebrate maybe your wishes that are coming to life there by holding that vision fixed moon okay <laughs> your future energies love it it's like ten of cups ten of pentacles ten of swords there's a number of synchronicity ten 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 <laughs> Have a look at that but there's love and happiness here there's success here there's success and love helping to finish off the cycle that you've been through this painful cycle maybe some gossip and backstabbing maybe a lot of drama but it's been very painful and um, that is finished done and dusted there's success in having that come to an end or to its conclusion and um, love may have helped along the way <laughs> 
but that is coming out into that transformation and it's beautiful so Taurus let's see what the clarifications have All right, starting with the Magus overall for the week. Love that. Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. So you're manifesting a way to move forward from some sort of crossroads energy that you're in. Maybe feeling bound and chained to something and um, not able to let that energy go. Not wanting to let it go maybe with the Four of Pentacles, but trying to break that energy out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but because you're in that crossroads energy, um, it may be just niggly energy that is there constantly and um, it's you're not able to break free from that yet so creating and manifesting a way to break that energy up in order to move forward past energies you've got the seven of cups with the queen of cups three of cups four of swords yeah a lot of loving nurturing energy starting to get control of your emotions and happiness there and um, proud of how far you've come emotionally feeling like you've got something to celebrate there even though you may need time out for yourself looking after number one maybe that healing that self-healing is the um, progression of this transformation coming out of that self-healing um, as butterfly spirit there so love that nine of pentacles you get strength six of cups page of cups possibly strength to turn this reconciliation this ex that wants to come back off of this fresh cup of love new beginning maybe may take strength to accept that offer it may take strength to decline that offer um, again maybe getting playful happy memories maybe um, butterflies in your tummy feeling when it comes to love that's been on offer to you there but either way, new love, ex, um, ex, ex love, if that makes sense, um, may take strength to process through there. But you've got the Seven of Wands with the Five of Cups, King of Wands, and the world. Not giving up. There's there've been this emotional loss and grief that you have been through. But knowing there's other loving energy around you, knowing that that's occurred for a particular reason. Um, confident to know where you're heading towards now and where you want to be going divine timing things will happen as they happen but that world is turning in your favor it's turning for you and giving you that forward momentum into the present energy something to celebrate three of cups with the ace of pentacles nine of swords queen of pentacles yeah celebrate this successful new beginning maybe bringing an end to this cycle of sleepless nights overthinking of things a lot of stress and anxiety but now you're proud of how far you've come proud of your achievements ready for this brand new successful beginning giving you something worthy of celebrating a brand new beginning and ending that stressful cycle possibly there hope that's for all of you so you go into the star you've got the star clarifying the star nine of wands queen of wands yeah definitely maybe dealing with an aquarius here double dose of that but again your wishes and your dreams confidence to go after those dreams and no matter how many hurdles are thrown up in front of you confident to be able to overcome anything that is thrown up and put in your way of trying to get to your dream there but um you've got that determination that confidence and that strength to see things through love it so Taurus six of cups you get the five of pentacles justice page of pentacles yeah maybe a next that actually um blocked you left you out in the cold and um yeah justice may have come around good karma may have come around okay moving towards warmer energy there is an offer here to make a successful go of things but um with that justice card in the middle could be dealing with the libra but um yeah maybe monetary maybe legal it may be in a success but a successful outcome for what um, the hard work that you've put in to get to where you are 
So Taurus future energy is ten of cups. You get the two of pentacles, two of cups, ten of pentacles, which you've got next. So a lot of tens in your future energy. And um, you've got two twos here as well. Two of pentacles, two of cups. Love. There's balance here when it comes to love. There's success here when it comes to love. So Taurus, for some of you, there's love. And it's very balanced and very successful. Clarifying Ten of Cups as well. Love. So this Ten of Pentacles, you get the Sun, the Chariot, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, sense of freedom and release. Finally being able to walk away from some sort of emotional attachment that's not working for you anymore. Maybe it's this energy back here. Getting into alignment, getting that chariot moving. This may pull that chariot apart and come to a grinding halt. But um, now you're getting back into balance there and things can start moving. Getting that sense of um, release there and some freedom there and making way for um, happiness and joy. Everything falling into place. So Taurus, this is awesome. That may be the butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. It's beautiful. And you finish with this Ten of Swords, with the Ten of Wands. Another Ten. King of Pentacles and Judgment. You have one, two, three, four, five Tens in the future energy readings. But again, ending this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own. No, you're not. Because there's love here. Okay, and there's more love here. So you're not on your own with this journey, but you may have that feeling, you may have that energy there. But that cycle again is finishing. Coming out, getting control of finances, getting control of your successes, and inundated with good luck and um, good fortune near success. By keeping an open mind, okay, listen to both sides of the story if need be, but um, make your own decisions and also don't judge others, but most of all as well, don't let them come in and judge you either. Hold your vision of where you're heading towards, let that transformation um, occur and look at where you can be going. So the universe has judgment again, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yeah, so maybe keeping an open mind towards a more upfront, more um, maybe even brutally honest um, relationship here, whether it's work, whether it's personal, whatever. Okay, maybe taking a different approach, being more upfront and everyone on the same page. Again, when it comes to love, that's at your fingertips there. Maybe taking that with both hands and running with it. So Taurus, love that though. Beautiful reading. So we'll see what the Star Temple has. Love it. You get number 34, the visionary, awake. With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. Using that intuition, using that manifestation, seeing the bigger picture, seeing the situation for what it really is, maybe someone for who they really are. It may be in a more positive light with all this love that's going on. And um, yeah, beautiful. So Taurus, that's what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.